Hey there, this is Lacey Byer with a Sweet Pea Chef, and today I've got a fabulous and clean butternut squash waffles recipe that you're gonna love. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need. First, we need to make some fresh butternut squash puree. To do this, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, slice the butternut squash in half through the stem and then scoop out all the seeds and strings on the inside. Line a rimmed baking sheet with tin foil and place the squash cut side down on that sheet. Roast uncovered for 40 to 60 minutes or until it's nice and tender when pierced with a fork. Remove from the oven and allow to cool enough to handle. When cool, carefully scrape the meat from the skin using a spoon. Then puree the squash using a food processor or a blender until it's really smooth. Now to make the batter for the butternut squash waffles, combine the squash puree, almond milk, coconut oil, eggs, vanilla, and maple syrup in a large mixing bowl and then set that aside. In a separate large mixing bowl, combine the whole wheat flour, buckwheat flour, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, ground ginger, ground cloves, and ground nutmeg. Add the mixed wet ingredients to the mixed dry ingredients and stir until just incorporated. Heat a waffle maker until it's nice and hot. Spread about three quarters of a cup of the batter over the hot waffle iron and then cook for two to three minutes or until the waffle is golden brown on both sides. If you happen to have a flipping waffle iron like this one, flip over about one and a half minutes into it and then cook for an additional one and a half minutes after flipping. Repeat with the remaining batter until you have all of the waffles made. To make the maple yogurt topping, combine the Greek yogurt and the remaining maple syrup and mix that well. Super simple. Top the waffles with the Greek yogurt topping and sprinkle with a little bit of ground cinnamon if you'd like. All right, so there you have it. Easy, healthy, and clean eating butternut squash waffles that are perfect for the fall. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get the recipe, click the button on the screen. To learn more about clean and healthy eating, click the link to get my free guide on how to start eating clean. And as always, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss a new weekly recipe video. Thanks, I'll see you next time perfect for the fall, basically. <laughs> 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 <laughs>